head over to GitHub. This so we see this black CMD interface, and then after a while, this pops up. We click developer mode, and then we go down to ESP32 download tool, and then and then we have this interface. So this is where we add our firmware or binary files. First, we need to click this button here, and it will bring us to this download folder. So here we select the ESP folder, we go to build, and then first we have to upload the bootloader first. So when you add it, you see this green showing here. And then we go to the next line, and then we go to the next file in line, and then we select this, and then that is also added. And then the third one, we select the partitions example. So now we've added all three. We also need to specify where they are. So we need to go ahead and indicate that also. So we go for 0x1000. Um, that is just a hex address indicating where the files are. So, so for the next one, we write 0x10,000. And then for the last one, we write 0x8,000. So the last thing we need to do is give the software the go ahead to upload these files. For that, we need to tick these boxes here at the ends. As soon as we do that, we realize that these boxes also change to green. If yours doesn't change to green, then it means that you've probably done something wrong. Well, we'll leave the rest of these settings at their default, at where they are right now. So we have 40 megahertz here. We have DIO here for the SPI mode, and then we have 32 megabit for the flash size. At this point, we have to select the COM port our ESP32 is at, but we've not connected the ESP to our PC yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We can use a standard micro USB cable. So we connect this part to the PC and this part to the ESP. Now, after connecting our ESP, we can see there is a COM port 9. So we select that, and then with the baud rate, we drop it to 576000. So that is that and then from here we can click start after about 10 seconds of clicking start If you don't see any green line loading here go back to this console interface here and then take a look at what is happening here If there is a bunch of full stops and dashes being printed that means that your ESP32 isn't inside flash mode So we need to put it inside flash mode So to do that we just need to press and hold this boot button here and then we'll click start so you have to stop the whole process and then you will see this fail notice here don't worry about that it's all good and then we go back and then we press and hold this button and then we click start and then this time around we can see a bunch of things happening and then we can see something showing up here in this window and then the green line starts loading down here You see the finish sign here which means that everything is done so now you can take your finger off the boot button and then you restart by disconnecting the usb and connecting it again and then let's go to the wi-fi menu and then over here you can see esp32 nat router this is the esp32 showing up here with its own access point so this is open by default so we just go ahead and connect to it this could take a while and as soon as it's done connecting let's open a browser and configure it we visit the ip address 192.168.4.1 and then you press enter this is the interface of our wi-fi repeater this here is where we enter the credentials of the wi-fi that we are trying to extend for me i'm home so i want to extend my home network the name of my router is delali the password for that router is this right here and then i'll click connect after a while it should connect to delali so this is the already existing wi-fi i'm trying to extend after connecting to the lally it pops back up here so over here you can change your access point name i would leave it at esp32 nat router and then i would make the password the same as this one just so i don't have to struggle remembering a new password so i'll just go ahead and paste this here so i'll click set here also and then after a while that should also come back online okay so when we check here we can see that it's disconnected because this time around it has a password so we would not be able to connect to it we'll click this and then we'll click connect and then we'll paste the password and then we'll click next